In 12 investigates as students begin their new school year. A couple of parents are sharing concerns tonight about calming rooms used in Davie County schools. District leaders say the rooms are used to help students with differing abilities calm down if they're ever overstimulated. But as WXI 12's Louis Tran reports, a grandmother says the district is not doing enough to let parents know they exist. School district leaders tell me that these calming rooms are used as a last resort to support students with special needs. But a grandmother tells me that not a lot of parents know about these rooms, and she has concerns about how they're being used after she says her granddaughter was placed in one and was impacted. It was very upsetting that we're not letting our parents know what's happening to our children. Frankie Vaughn says that she's concerned after Davie County Schools did not share much details in their handbook about their calming rooms. She says last year, school leaders at Shady Grove Elementary placed her then five-year-old granddaughter who has autism in one for 55 minutes. I was furious. I, all I wanted to do was get her out of the space. Vaughn says it traumatized her granddaughter. Vaughn says for a while, she would only sleep in her home's hallway because she feared closed spaces. State law requires the principal to notify parents if a child is placed in a seclusion room for more than 10 minutes. To me, this is child abuse. If I put my child in a four by four space with a closed door, with a window unlocked, but I sat in front of it and prevented her to leave for 55 minutes, CPS would be at my home. It's not locked. Eight schools in the district have calming rooms. We're allowed to see this one at Davie County High School. It's about 12 by 16 feet and is much larger than the others in the district. District leaders say the others are about six by six feet. There are padded walls and one door with a slender window. The calming room is used as a last resort. That is not our first intervention that we go to with our kids. Like the director of Exceptional Children's Program, Jennifer Custer, says the rooms are not used for punishment. She says that some students with differing abilities have high stimulation, and they use the rooms to help calm them down and for student safety. She says anytime they place a child inside one, they always notify their parents. I'm not aware of that 10 minute policy or anything like that. It, the policy or pr the process is for our district that if a child goes into that calming room, then we notify the parent. Custer tells me that parents of students with special needs are notified about the rooms. However, all students can use them. She says the students and parent handbooks do not give much details about the rooms and faculty do not show the rooms during the open houses unless parents ask. I asked Custer why the handbook did not share more details to parents. Here's her response. Why it's not in a um, teacher, a staff handbook and those kinds of things, I can't really clarify or elaborate on that. It's just, it, they're used so seldom sometimes and it really is to protect that child from harming themselves or someone else. Student safety is what Vaughn says she's hoping for. She says that she wants the district to update its policy to notify all parents about the rooms and also to provide larger calming rooms as well. She says that this can help all students with all differing abilities. We have to change to grow. Our children deserve so much better and we can grow and change policies. It's not written in stone. It's up to every board member and every superintendent of that county to make ch policy changes. School district leaders say that they will talk with school board members about the current policy and discuss possible changes as well. In Davie County, I'm Louis Tran, WXII 12 News. We also did reach out to Davie County School Board members about the concerns over these calming rooms. Chair Clint Junker tells us the board is aware of the concerns, adding, quote, we are confident that appropriate individuals within DCS are involved. He also said he's not aware of any plans to review specific policies related to these calming rooms.